So many people are reporting that onto their PlayStation 4 they are getting NP34958-9 error. What this error is all about, today in this video I'll be showing you how to fix this error without any worries and it's an easy step by step process. So guys without a further ado let me show you how it exactly works. And after that your all the games will be unlocked, you can able to play all the games without any worries and it just works like a charm. I was quite shocked looking at how easy the fix was. So guys without a further ado do let me show you all right so whether your all digital games are locked you try deactivating reactivating still you are getting this np349 pi-9 error the playstation customer support is not great because this fellow tried contacting them and he wasted 45 minutes of his life transport and then hung up on call but luckily i came across this blog post how to fix ps4 error code np349 pi-9 there are tens and tens of people posting their experience with the NP NP error code and here is the thing guys right here onto the reddit many users have found out the workarounds check this out guys how many people are reporting this post just five days ago this post two days ago again two days ago two days ago just 23 hours ago this error is going on crazy with the playstation 4 i'm not even scrolling through all the important posts right over here but you can get the idea now let me show you how you can fix this one very easy all right first thing you should check playstation network service is it active or not because if the playstation network psn servers are down then you can't do anything but that's not the case all services for the playstation working no problems there that means either it could be your ps4 console or your network connection all right guys so go ahead and open up your playstation 4 settings and right over here into the playstation 4 settings you need to head over to your network tab right here into the network tab we are going to set up internet connection the second option right over here so select the setup internet connection and then right over here it asks you how do you want to connect to your network so let's say if you are using wi-fi select the wi-fi option if you are using lan cable then you can choose that one in my case i'm using lan cable ethernet cable so i'm using the second option over here after selecting the option here it will ask you to set up internet connection so you can choose the custom option right over here because we are going to set some custom parameters for the internet connection the reason why playstation can't able to communicate with the psn servers is this particular internet connection issue and and that's why we need to adjust some custom options so just select the custom options right over here do not choose easy option all right guys once you select the custom option into ip address settings select manual and right over here here you'll see bunch of options ip address subnet mask default gateway primary dns and secondary dns now all you need to do is change two important settings right over here and by the way this method i'm going to show you is tested and worked out method for tens and tens of people here you can see this one works out for a lot of people so without further ado let me show you the exact parameters what you need to set so once you head over to the dns settings like i showed you earlier you need to change the primary dns and the secondary dns of your playstation now remember the primary dns you should set it to 1.1.1.1 basically all ones and then set the secondary dns to 1.0.0.1 now remember guys there is a very important note though these primary and secondary dns i just described should work out for pretty much all the regions but this can be exception for some particular region so you can do a simple little google search if these dns didn't work out for you just google search best dns for your particular location and set those dns as a primary and secondary dns in this settings right after that you can set mtu settings to automatic also remember guys while we are changing the dns it's very important that proxy servers is not in use so basically you need to avoid using vpn or proxy servers if you are using any of those connections it will interfere with your connection to the playstation network so avoid using that and here is the thing guys after you change the dns like i described the very important option that you don't need to touch do not use this one is do not touch the test internet connection button and you should be good to go so this is the test internet connection button don't touch it guys just restart your playstation if required and see if that works out for you if this method works do let me know in the comments down below let all the people know let community know about it if you have any other fix do let me know that as well if you got any particular dns let everybody know make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video